thank you for joining me here at DJ's Movie Reviews. I make short movie reviews for people with short attention spans. Keep in mind that spoilers are always possible. Hit that subscribe button. Click like. Leave a comment. Tap that notifications bell so that you can get my upcoming content. Today's feature we're going to be talking about is Downrange. You can find this movie on the Shudder Network. That's S-H-U-D-D-E-R. I've left a link for it in the description. This movie is directed by Ryuhai Kitamura, who also directed the movie The Midnight Meat Train, which is adapted from a book written by Clive Barker, who directed and wrote the Hellraiser series. I know what you're saying, very much like Six Degrees of Kevin Bacon, but not what I'm going for. The plot of this movie is simple. Stranded at the side of the road after a tire blows out, a group of friends becomes the target of an enigmatic sniper. Our stars for this movie are virtually unknown, with Kelly Conair, Rod Hernandez, and Anthony Curlew having their debuts for this particular movie. The other people in the movie are Stephanie Pearson, who was in the movie Recovery, Alexa Yeams, who was in Painted Horses, and Jason Tobias, who was in Oceans Rising. Moving on, what I think. We have six college students sharing a ride across the state, and they become victims of a crazed sniper when he shoots out their tire on a secluded stretch of road. As the tire is being replaced, all but one of the riders is on the opposite side of the vehicle in the shade. The flat tire begins to roll a bit, and the guy changing it grabs it before it goes too far. He notices something fall from the tire. It's a bullet. At this point of the movie, 10 minutes in, you start to get that feeling of dread. The first shot is not heard, but the devastation brought on by that shot are all too obvious. We see a clear path through the skull of our unlucky student as he falls to his knees after being shot through the head. Shock ensues. Now, as I watch this movie, a couple of questions come to mind. I ask, where did the shot come from? Who is shooting? Why are they shooting? Where do you hide? Is this person a lone gunman, etc.? Things that you would think about during the Kennedy assassination. Another question I ask myself is, how are these kids going to get out of there with minimal loss of life? Sure, one or two of their fellow passengers just died, but the rest of them are alive and able to escape if they need to. Survival is key. As a movie, this premise is fantastic. The fact that they are on a road that has traveled very little and that they are in absolute life-threatening danger is terrifying. As the movie moves along, there are a few times when they might escape this merciless killer. The terror, the suspense, it's ratcheted up during these moments. And this crazy sniper is just hiding out in the wilderness. Very few trees, very few rocks, very few places to hide. But he's doing a great job of picking these kids off. Now what you got to do and what you got to feel for these kids is that they are terrified beyond all comprehension. Things that they knew to be true a couple of minutes ago are now uh, shattered. The friends that they had are dead. The relationships that they built up through college are now deteriorating in hails of gunfire. But in the grand scheme of things, in the end, the real question for this movie is, who is going to survive this? And with that said, if you like the movie Phone Booth, or another movie that I had uh, reviewed on my blog called Escape Room, or Hush, which was which was released in 2017, you might like this one too. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to give it four out of five stars. I did my best not to give away anything else of the movie for fear of spoiling too much of it. So forgive how short this particular review is. But in all honesty, it was a damn good movie and I'd watch it again. So as I said earlier, this movie is available on Shudder. I put a link for that in the description and every movie I've brought up during this you can find in the description as well. So thank you very much for joining me. Hit the subscribe button, like, comment if you've seen this movie because I would love to have a back and forth about what you thought about it and if you think that my 
decision on four out of five stars is incorrect, please let me know because I would like to know what you thought so that we can bounce stuff off each other. Also hit that bell notification icon so that you can get my future content. And I can't wait to see what you have for me. Thank you very much for joining me at DJ's Movie Reviews. I'll see you later.